Hey, what's up guys? Ashby the Ashby Farms and I'm out here today. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. Got uh, these hives here behind me. And uh, I'm staging up some equipment because I'm getting ready to put second boxes on. So to give you an idea, uh, we had four 10 frame double deeps out here over winter. Right now, I found all of the brood nests basically in the bottom box. It would be the center, maybe three frames. And it's only the top half of those frames. But 80% of the brood box is in the second box. So what I did before I added a second box on these was go through those four. And I put a frame of pollen and food on the outside two frames of the box, bottom box. And then I put eight frames of brood in the center of the bottom box. Then the second box is empty along with a feeder. And that's the way we're about to configure all of these uh, right here. All these singles are getting a second box a day. Take uh, the feeder out of the bottom box, put it in the top box. That way it's easier to feed. And um, just kind of what we're doing this morning. The reason for doing that is uh, we do not want these hives to swarm. So we're having a really warm winter overall, warm February. This is our second week in a row where we're having four days in a row in the 70s. Like it's right at 70, 71, but still. Uh, I'm finding five and six frames of brood on every one of these colonies. So goal right now is to keep them from swarming. So that's why I came in. The four that were double deeps, we're making sure that all the brood is in the bottom box. Obviously, if you've got a 10 frame single, the brood's in the bottom box. And bees want to feel like they've got not only room in the colony, but room up above. So uh, that's why you come in, you add in a second box. That'll allow, that's just going to buy me maybe a month, three weeks, uh, something like that, until they're going to start feeling like they need to swarm. But in the meanwhile, that three to four weeks gives me time to get through the rest of the yards, continue building equipment. Uh, you know, early spring for us is just constantly buying myself time through management strategies. So anyways, I'm gonna get these boxes put on guys. Uh, that's what we're doing today. It's quick and easy. I'll be in this yard for about an hour or so. So I'm gonna walk you down here. I just popped all the lids on these. Um, so we're gonna walk right down the line here and just kind of show you, I didn't smoke them yet. These are just, this is probably one of the weakest colonies right here. So these are genetics that you're getting if you're buying nukes from us. This is overwintered, 10 frame singles, got fed five days ago, uh, coming out uh, Valentine's Day morning. So like I said, we're gonna pull the feeder out. We're gonna take frame and pop it in there, add a second box, to put the feeder back in the same spot. Wanted to show you as well, uh, check out the pollen patties. Those went on five days ago. That one's almost missing. That one there is majority eaten. I mean, you can see there's the lid to it. So you got a little bit left. Um, I mean, that's a, a one pound pollen patty. See, they're all over that one. Same here, all over this one. Um, I mean, they've probably gone through three quarters of a one pound pollen patty like i said there's your this is my smallest colony in this whole yard that was the size of pollen patty i put on they've gone through mm, maybe half uh maybe 40 percent again there's that it's a smaller colony there but again one pound pollen patty same thing look how little's left on that lid how little's left here and that's a uh that's six frames of bees right there video notes when you come back, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colonies need a second box. And I appreciate you watching. If you would, please subscribe. If you like the content, please follow. Um, anytime you comment and like, it helps me grow my channel. That's what I'm trying to do to help other people like you. Again, I'm Ashby with Ashby Farms. Thank you.